What's up, you guys? So I have a special guest today, someone very sweet, dear, and near to my heart. She has come all the way from New York to stay and visit with me for a while. It's my mommy, Miss Pam. You gotta say hi. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> I'm getting my first makeover by my daughter. So me and my mom are gonna do a makeover. I did one for her the other day, and it's just something simple. I'm not gonna pack on a lot of makeup on her. I'm not gonna do that because I want it to be able for her to be able to do it on her own, which she has. Right, mommy? Yes, I have. She has actually done her own makeup. She did a brow, she did a foundation, she's done everything, her mascara. We're not putting on fake lashes because that's not what my mom likes, but we are gonna be putting on a wig. I did have a wig on her the other day, her first wig, and she looks absolutely gorgeous in it. She loved it. She likes to wear headbands with her wig, so I will show you it with and without the headband. But today's video is gonna be sponsored by omgherhair.com, and they have sent me a beautiful eight inch curly bob wig which my mom is going to be styling and profiling for you guys but she's also going to be taking it home and she's going to be wearing it on her own so she does know how to put on a wig um we're not gonna i'm gonna hairspray a little bit but for her on an everyday basis she doesn't want to have to hairspray it down so that's why she likes to wear the headbands and it's a lot easier for her so the first thing we're going to start off with we're going to show you guys the makeup part and then we'll get into the wig part. I did bleach the knots in the unit. It is an eight inch curly bob, which is absolutely gorgeous. I like the way they layered the back of it. It's very layered and these curls are actually from me washing it so you don't even have to do anything. And it's short like the way my mom would like and prefer. And with curly hair, you guys already know you don't have to do anything with it. You just wash it, wet it a little bit and go. And I did pre-pluck some of the hairline for her as well. And your package will come in a box like this, which says omgherhair.com. And also you'll get things like the bag that it comes in. You'll get an elastic band, which is the removable one, and a comb. And you'll also get another elastic band, which is the one you can sew on yourself. Along with that, you'll get a wig cap. So, you guys, let's get into this video tutorial, okay? All right, Miss Lady. So let's begin the fun part. I really enjoy doing my mom's makeup. She doesn't wear makeup like I said. She used to like so long ago and she just wanted a makeover. She wanted to be youthful and she just wanted to try wigs out. Now keep in mind she has worn a wig but that was so long ago that the wig that she wore was not a lace front. So you know you got to put your mama on to the new game and I'm so glad that she was so happy um, with her makeover and not just in this video but a few days prior. Prior to this, we did try on a wig and I did give her a makeover. It's just a simple makeover. It's nothing like too advanced because like I stated, she doesn't really do her makeup like that. So I tried to pick something that was really easy. And plus, my mom does not like to have cake face. She doesn't want all that makeup on her face. So I can totally understand. So this part right here, I'm just going to be shading in some brows for her. I decided to use a powder only because it will make my mom's transition to doing her brows a lot easier versus using like a pomade or a pencil to draw it on. Doing her brows with the powder and just filling in her thin brows will help her. And she's actually done a really good job at this on her own. So I just used a spoolie brush and a arched eyebrow or yeah, eyebrow pencil. And I just applied like a dark medium brown color on her. And this part right here, I'm just going to be using the Becca Cosmetics um, Hydration Setting Powder. Just so that way, if her lids or are oily, it will be able to hold the foundation that I'm going to be applying. And this is the MAC foundation. This is in the color I do believe my mom uses NC45. Yeah, she uses NC45. And I'm just going to dab that on. And I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge just to blend it all in. I want to make sure to get her eyelids because she does complain somewhat of having darker eyelids. So I'm just going to put that onto her eyelids and blend it in. And I did make sure to make sure that my sponge is damp. I love this sponge. It's amazing, okay? This is the only sponge I use. So you just want to go ahead and dab it in. And it was so much fun having my mom visit with me. 
you know i really enjoy her company now the foundation that i'm using right here is the becca cosmetics full coverage foundation and it's in the color olive i did get this some time ago and it's really actually too light for my skin tone so me i only use it for like concealer or brightening areas so that's what i'm going to also be using for my mom it's just regular foundation it's a little bit thicker but it's also lighter so i decided to use it as a highlight along with that to conceal her eyelids a little bit more better so that way she'd be happy and she does want some eyeliner but girl let me tell you i'm not that great with doing eyeliner on anyone even myself at times and i really did not want to be tugging at her eyes so i decided to use that same uh quad that i use for her brows just to give her a little bit of eyeliner she doesn't want it thick she just wants a tad bit because she has small eyes and i'm also going to be using my shop miss a mascara the brush is really small and it gives her a thicker eyelash she actually does love this mascara and it's only a dollar if you're interested in it i'll leave the link below for you guys as you guys see her eyelashes have formed of course i'm not going to put on falsies on her because god knows i'd probably end up poking her in the eye and besides that she's not really good with doing her makeup so we just want to give her something that's super easy so that way she feels confident in doing it herself and I'm also going to be using my Too Faced Contour uh, Powder, which is in the color medium deep. It's just going to give her a little bit of color to her cheekbones. And then I'm going to blend that in and set her face with some of the NYX um, Press Facial Powder. As I was stating, this was amazing. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoy my mom's company. Of course, you guys know she was here for my son's uh, funeral service. And she decided to come back and stay with me for a few weeks, which I was so happy about. And this is the wig like I showed you guys, okay? So I already bleached the knots. It has the combs on the inside. And then it also has the comb and adjust for strap and the nape. And it does come with a elastic band that you can remove, which we're gonna put in. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this lace wig. It's short, it's about eight inches in length, and it's a lace frontal. I do believe the length is, uh, excuse me, I do believe the, ca the cap is a 13 by six, but I'll definitely link everything below. I did bleach the knots and I did pre-pluck it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away at the lace. Now keep in mind, my mom does not know how to apply a lace wig with any type of glue or hairspray or gel. But for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you guys how it would look with the um, wig applied. But she likes just to use the combs and she loves headbands, like she seriously loves headbands. So I can't fault her for that because I used to be the same way. But I'm gonna just show you guys how I would apply it on her. And you just want to make sure that you cut enough of the lace also that way it's not showing and now for this part right here i'm going to make sure that the wig fits properly it is a little bit too big on the side so i did part it and i'm going to cut some of the excess lace off so that way it just fits perfectly for her ears as you guys see right here i'm just cutting i'm just parting it with my rat tail comb using my clip and then i'm going to cut away at that extra piece of lace so that way it will fit right above her ear and it'll be comfortable and now to give my mama some sideburn hairs, because girl, everybody needs sideburn hairs. You may not need no baby hairs, but everybody needs some sideburn hairs, girl. So just get you some good clips, because you always need those. And make sure that any extra lace that you have on your unit, you cut away at. My mother was so sweet at doing this video. This was actually her idea. And you know, I love short wigs, but you know she really really liked this one a lot and i'm so happy that i was able to make her happy i just wish that she would just decide to move here to arizona with me so that way i don't have to miss her so much and be crying when she leaves okay so somebody talk to her for me so quiet during the video gotta conversate i don't know that makes it fun i don't know yes. talk 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 about what you feel about wigs. How do you feel about wigs? Do you like wigs? I actually like them now. Oh. 
So right now I'm just cutting the baby hairs or the wispy hairs. I'm definitely not going to gel them down for her because she is an older woman. But I'm just going to kind of like situate them so that way it can camouflage the lace in the front. I don't want to do too much dramatic stuff for my mom, you know. And I'm just cutting the sideburn hairs as long, well, along with the actual wispy hairs. And to apply the wig, I'm going to be using my Got To Be Glam Force Hairspray, which will allow you to hold your wig down if you're using a scarf for at least like two to three days or more. And just take your blow dryer on cool to medium heat and just blow dry the unit down using your rat tail comb to press into the lace. This is the easiest part ever. Um, my mom was a super sport about this. This lace wig is really cute. Um, for those of you guys who love short hair, then you definitely have to check out omgherhair.com. You know, they have some really, really affordable units. So if you're definitely on a budget, you definitely want to check them out. But if you want to add more wigs to your collection, girl, then go right ahead and check out omgherhair.com. They're going to have this huge Thanksgiving sale black friday when everybody has a sale so make sure you go on their website and check them out because their prices will be lowered along with that you can follow them on their social media like facebook instagram and whatever else they have now in that jar was actually my got to be glam force gel if you guys don't know i do put it in the jar that will help a lot because when it comes out the tube it is a little bit runny and it will take longer to apply so or to dry so i put it in the jar to oxidize it it comes out thicker and it dries quicker and along with that i'm just using some of the got to be volume maniac stylings and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now see, those little wispy hairs are perfect. When you have a curly unit, you really don't have to do too much to hide the actual lace because the hair is curly and full, so you don't really have to do too much. And that's the mousse that you see on the back of my hand that I'm using just to sculpt the wispy hairs for her. And now to style the wig, I'm just going to be spraying in some water, which also contains some leave-in conditioner, which is by Carol's Daughter. It says the hair milk. I love this stuff. It's great for curly hair because it keeps it moist. It doesn't make it look all dry, but you don't need a lot of it. If you spray it in, if you pour a couple of drops in your water, your spray bottle, then it's perfect. Make sure to never ever spray your wig with just water because it will dry the hair out. So definitely just make sure to put some conditioner in it. It could be any conditioner. It doesn't have to be leave-in conditioner. Any conditioner will work just fine. And now to just to add the finishing touches on this hot mama right here. And I just take the hairs and I just kind of like press down instead of making them sculpted or formed. I just press them down into the lace in the front so that way you don't see the, uh, the actual lace. And my mother likes her hair tucked behind her ears the same way that I do, so you know. Now because her forehead is a little smaller, you know, she doesn't have much forehead space, so if the wig looks a little bit low, it's definitely not. But I think it suits her. She likes this one. She does like this unit, but not with a headband too much. Definitely not with a headband, but as is, it's perfect. You like it? Yeah, it's cute. Well, the thing is, you glue it down. Oh, you don't have to do that, mommy. I was just showing that for the video. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, you don't have to do that down. You don't have to do that. You could just put your headband. You like your headband, right? I don't know if I look better than a headband. With that one? Yeah, this one, not. I don't know. So, you guys, this is the finished look of the 8-inch bob from omgherhair.com. This looks cute. I like it. I like the curl pattern of it. My mom doesn't like a lot of hair to her face, so I was trying to tuck it behind her ears. But we might take some pictures. And she's not going to be hairspraying it down, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looked hairsprayed down and stuff. But we're going to take some pictures, so look into the camera, look to the lens. There you go. Look like Striker Pose. <laughs> Remember? I can't do that.
go like this. I tell her, go like. <laughs> I can't do that. Yes, you can't try it. Like, hey, but you go back and foolish. You tell like, her to do it, you guys. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it. You make me laugh so hard. Yeah, you look cute when you smile. So see. I can't talk about this. Tell her to make kissy faces. <laughs> okay, well, just smile regular. Don't look so mean. Just look into the camera. <laughs> One, pucker up. <laughs> do we look alike? Yep, we always do. Uh -oh, look, I'm smiling. You're just talking. You gotta take a picture. No, it's cute. I like it without the headband. I, I wonder if you look cute with the. We're gonna try it. It's so much easier with the headband. Yeah, we'll try it. This is the tapered look. This looks really good, you guys, the way they did this wig. It gives it volume. This looks really, really nice in the back. Okay, so especially for someone who doesn't want really long hair and they're not really like, you know, they're kind of new to wigs, then I think this one will work great. But you hurt to smile, <laughs> So this is the finished touches. She looks so happy. I love to see her happy. And this is what it looks like with the headband on. Like I said, she loves headbands. We weren't too crazy about it with the headband on, but you know, we gave it a try. Make sure you guys let us know what you think. I had so much fun doing this video with my mother. I love her so much. We like the one with it without the headband. I think it looks cute. This is an easy wig for her. She does have a couple more wigs and I like her in curly hair. So you guys, this was fun. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. You gotta talk more. Yeah, Tell us about sense. your life. Oh, <laughs> you know my life. <laughs> Share it with the YouTube world. So how do you like Arizona? When are you it's moving hot. here? I like it, please. Yep, I like it here, I really do. I'm gonna kidnap her. I'm gonna kidnap her. So you guys, <laughs> all the information will be down below for OMD Hair's eight inch curly bob. This was fun. I always love to make my mother happy, you know. So I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Bye. Bye. Gotta wait. Blow the kisses. Bye. You got blow kisses. I'm able. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs>